Good morning. Welcome to day 88 of my Munro challenge. Today at walking route number 110, the Anavur, which is Hill of Thunderbolts. So um, the two Munros we're climbing today is uh, Skor Gerag, which is the Red Peak, and Skor Norali, which is Donald's Peak. So I'll follow the lane out from the uh, visitor centre car park up and I've just crossed this little uh, bridge where the waterway is and I'm hanging a left now heading up to looks like a school so uh, the tarmac soon becomes a Land Rover track shortly after the school and then um, we'll be turning right ever so uh, ever so shortly probably a couple hundred meters or so and we're heading up the fell so here we are little cairn on the track side so we're going to turn right here and we head very steeply up the fell side very steeply so this path does uh, make its way extremely steeply up the uh, hillside makes its gradient very quickly as you can see down there at the village been a funny morning so far i've had my waterproofs on and off twice <laughs> Uh, but this one looks like they might be on for a while. Just trying to get a view. Quickly come, come out. The village below. And here's, uh, it's not the first Munro, it's the first top. I think it's score, oh, Diego. Oh, without looking at my map, it's too wet at the minute to get map out. Uh, so we've got to climb there. I think that's 947. And the top's over a thousand meters. Wow, that's a better view. Clouds cleared again. You can actually see my uh, caravan site over there. Wow. Oh, well, this looks uh, a bit of a challenge ahead. Might be a bit of a scramble up there. Oh. It's already been steep. You see, it's just dropping off the uh, ridge side. It's been very, very steep. It looks like it's getting steeper. I think we're getting to the business end of the uh, of the climb now. As he got to the the real steep climb, there's a little bypass path which uh, skirts round the cliffside on that little uh, ledge, and it creeps round up a bit of a scree. And we're heading up up this way. I'm not sure there's any advantage whatsoever in taking that bypass because it just brings you around to this ridiculously steep scree which I'm working my way up uh, to get back up onto the ridge I think I'd have been better staying on the ridge personally now that scree was horrendous very very long very steep difficult I'm back on the ridge now um, I should have stayed on the ridge I've just met two chaps who were uh, climb the ridge and uh, I think Stan would have been all right in the steep section nevertheless keep going hey Stan so here we are score back. this is 947 so it's not the Monroe continue on to get to the Monroe lovely view of a cloud just following the uh, the ridge very small drop down to a Belak now we're on the final Ascent following what looks to be quite a sharp ridge, you can't quite tell in the cloud. So here we are, Scott Jerag. Wow, I would imagine we'd have some awesome views from up here, the bay. That last uh, walk up the ridge was fabulous, very smooth, easiest path I've had so far. A nice gradient, I would imagine it's awesome. Gorgerag. So I'm going to drop down to the Belak now forward to take on the next one. Wow, wind's just blown the cloud away. We've got a, a view of the Belak way down there. That's the next top up in the cloud. Wow, clouds look to be clearing off the top. We've got views all of a sudden. Wow, look at that. Just looking back, I'm almost at the Belak. 
and look at that we'd have had a view from the top it would have been uh, waited 20 minutes half an hour well hopefully we'll get a view from this top apparently you can see the Isle of Mull from this one wow start of another steep ascent by the looks of it so we're going to climb this get to the top turn back and come straight back down to this BLAC that we're at there before we uh, head back down through a through some woods back to the roadside then uh, follow the road back to the car looks like um, we're gonna have another scrambly top the final push that looks steep I can confirm <laughs> very steep very very rocky what do you think Stan if you can see him sat in the rocks looking at me so here we are score Norley wow awesome look at that you can, you can see the Isle of Mull over there <laughs> so had a sandwich waited 20 minutes or so hoping we'll get a view but no such luck so I'm going to make my way back down to the b lack I'm afraid so very 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 rocky this top section and then it then it becomes grassy not sure if you can make out in the BLAC there just about back at the BLAC there's some people gathered and there's two or three more coming up the path I'll be descending on dropping down the glen towards the woods look at this huge gust of winds just come and blown all the cloud away can you believe it just dropping off the BLAC so that's the first Monroe over there totally clear you can't quite see the top of the second row it's hidden around the back but do you know what if I'd have waited uh, another half hour I'd have probably got a view anyway on my way down now so the path is quite steep actually a lot steeper than it first looked from the top of the BLAC so we'll be heading down uh, down the glen towards the wood now uh, I've just met a, a bunch of uh, bunch of guys at the BLAC and tell, they're telling me there's a fabulous um, track being uh, put together through the forest so uh, the uh, navigation's quite easy and one that's not on a map they tell me just looking up at the BLAC various waterfalls quite, uh, quite a sight we're heading down there, uh, down to the woods of forest. So this path meanders through uh, the what used to be a forest. It's all been felled. It's quite a good path, obvious. We're making our way down to the, uh, the main road. So we're in the uh, pine forest now. Very pretty beautiful backdrop it's like the clouds have cleared from the tops so there's been a series of these parking uh, posts if you like pointing down to a car park at the bottom um, unfortunately that's not the car park <laughs> my car's in so I've followed them this far but now I need to uh, pretty much uh, follow this track back up and uh, following it round to uh, where I'm parked a way to go yet. Hi, welcome to day 88 of my Munro challenge. Today I walked route 110. It's Monday the 23rd of May and I parked at the information centre at Balakulish. Um, steady start, very steady start to the day. Uh, you, you, you follow the uh, road out of the information centre up past towards a couple of churches, past a school, which eventually becomes a, a track, a vehicle track. Um, you soon come to a very small cairn with a right turn, which heads directly up the um, the moor side to join the uh, the start of the ridge. Very very steeply. It's, uh, it was raining on and off this morning, so um, it was very very wet. There was like a, a burn coming down the path. Um, very squelchy. Eventually you get to the ridge which is steep and the whole day was steep. 
um, but the ridge got very very steep bits of scrambling um, uh, relentless really um, now I, um, I I got to a, a, a point where I saw a path which was bypassing uh, a scramble on the ridge and a very well walked path and it, it actually took you round um, a ledge really uh, under the, uh, the 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 said scramble um, quite a thin ledge <laughs> and uh, I, I, I followed this path for a while very well walked uh, and which was still making its height uh, and eventually it took me to a, a, a very steep scree bank which took me back up to the ridge, but it was really steep. It was ridiculously difficult. And I did regret taking that path. Now I wished I'd have stuck on the ridge because I was doing quite well. Um, and uh, and once you get there, uh, it eases towards the top of uh, Scorban, which is uh, a top at 947, um, a big cairn. You drop about 40 or so metres down to Belak, nothing too difficult. Um, and then you've got the final ascent of Skor Jerag. I have to say, a lovely path, easy grade, easier gradient than you've been at, because up until then it was exceedingly difficult. Um, I'd like to t talk about the views, but I can't. Um, so Skor Jerag, 1,024 metres. Um, in the cloud anyway you, you drop back to the the belak and it's a quite a nice track it does steepen up towards the bottom of the belak <coughs> it's kind of a stepped descent um and eventually um when, when you get there you can see the uh the the climb ahead up score Norley. now that is a climb uh it's very steep uh grassy at first uh, which soon becomes rocky which eventually becomes scrambly and scree and craggy um so you've got uh, you've got 250 meters or so of ascent and it's quite a difficult um ascent uh, compared to the uh, the drop that you've just done coming off Skor Jerag. anyway uh, the top of Skor Norley. now apparently you can see right the way over to the uh, Isle of Mull um, but I couldn't. Anyway, I dropped back to the BLAC, um down the steep descent, um, thinking you might get some respite when you drop off from the BLAC, but you don't. It's surprisingly steep. Um, I thought it was surprisingly steep. I wasn't expecting it to be as steep and as difficult as it was. Um, very wet day. Um, oh, it had been in the morning, although I had quite a nice afternoon. Um, but it was a steep descent pretty much all the way to just before you met what used to be the forest. Half of the forest has been um, felled. Um, a reasonable path to, to navigate down, so nothing too difficult there. And uh, eventually the, the path becomes a very, very pretty forest track, uh, meandering down through uh, the ver crossing various um, fire breaks and um, and and bigger tracks, Land Rover tracks if you like, in the forest. Um, eventually I had to come off of this path because it was going to a car park which I had not parked at and then follow some, follow some larger tracks back to uh, the main road, uh, about a mile or so on the main road back to the car park. Uh, a 12 mile day, massive 4,832 feet of ascent uh, and a lot of that was very steep and very scrambly. Uh, it took me seven and a half hours today. <laughs>